Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to download Wii U virtual console games onto the CMU emulator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, first what you want to do is, this is if you don't have the program known as Wii U USB Helper, and why I don't get why Opera is opening. Okay, anyways. Anyways, if you don't have the program known as Wii U USB Helper downloaded, I'm going to be linking a tutorial in the description. It's not a tutorial made by me, but it is still a really good tutorial. And then, once you return, you simply just follow my steps. So, now that you got the program downloaded, what you want to do is, well, what I like to do is, on the, on the filters tab, I like, to click, I like to deselect everything that isn't Wii U, because I only use this for Wii U games. But, you can leave the others checked if you want to, if you're wanting to download 3DS and Wii games this way. But, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go search up a game that I want. I'm going to do Yoshi's Island. Oh, that's the wrong game. I'm going to be doing the game Yoshi's Story. Alright, there it is. Okay, now what you want to do next is you want to go to Download Manager. This should be in the tutorial, I'm linking in the description, but I can't remember if it is or not. But what you need to do now is click on Unpack. And for me, it asks where I like to save the games and stuff, and I just chose my Wii U ROM folder. But yeah, if it shows for you, just choose where you want to. Download the game at. Anyway, so now, now what you want to do is, it should say add for you, but for me it says verify because I already downloaded this, but forgot to click on unpack. But what I'm going, but what I'm going to do is just click on verify, and it, and there'll be the, pretty much the same thing as do or doing a new game. So now what I'm going to do is click on start downloading. Then we're gonna wait for it to install. Alright, alright, as you can see on the bottom right, it says your tiles are ready. Now if you already have the emulator open, you'll, you'll have to right click somewhere, uh, then you want to click on refresh game list, but I don't have it open, so it'll automatically add a refresh and add the game onto there. At least it should. Okay, may have to refresh anyways. Alright. Okay, apparently even if I didn't have the emulator open, I still had to refresh. But before, it, I didn't have to refresh and I opened up, it, I mean, completely opened up the emulator, but yeah, it can be weird like that sometimes. But, as you can see, wherever it is, okay, there it is. The game has been downloaded finally. I'm going to be doing a quick gameplay test to show off that it works. And then, yeah, I'll be wrapping up the video. Now, depending on your computer speed, it'll take a little while to load up. <laughs> but, but, it, but most of the time, it seems to depend on the game you're downloading, like whether it's an N64 game, a DS game. Or something like that. And as you can see, the Nintendo logo showed up. And I'm just gonna wait for the other stuff to load so I can do a little gameplay. Now, for some reason, it's kind of wanting to freeze here and there for me, but that might be because I'm recording and everything, and my computer isn't wanting to be the best like that, or when it, I'm recording. Alright, as you can see, I'm able to control Yoshi and everything. I'm able to oops, get hit by this 
Shy guy. Because I keep forgetting the button mapping. Uh, to be honest, I've never actually, oops, oh yeah, you push, for me, I push the CR button to get to a menu, to change, do things like the, change the button mapping and create a save point and stuff, forgot to mention that's how you did it, but I'm going to be honest, I've never actually completed this level, pretty sad I know. Considering the fight does the first level. But, yeah, this is pretty much how you can download virtual console games on the Wii U. So, if it didn't help, if this tutorial didn't help, I'm glad it did. And, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.